In this Christmas special, we are going to report on Mari Salveston repeating the Wide Boys Black Mamba in the Canyonlands, Utah. Can I take off the beard now? The route was originally graded 514B, or French 8C in European terms. However, Mari has suggested a downgrade to 8B plus in the Ultimate Flex. We have tried to contact Pete Whitaker, the first ascensionist, and Mari's partner to get his opinion on it. However, we think he's still dealing with the betrayal. Black Mamba is unique insofar as its first 40 meters is better described as an exceptionally long and very weird boulder problem. Can you hear the jingling in my hat? Back to the news report. The roof crack starts at the end of a long and extremely dark tunnel and is only a few meters high. At the very end of the tunnel, however, the ground drops away and they have to hang on to a jam whilst their partner proceeds to tie them in and give them the necessary gear to finish the final 10 meters of off-width climbing. This is not normal stuff. These final 10 meters are a route in their own right. And that was first climbed by Pete Whitaker at the grade of 13A and called, fantastically, the Angry Pirate Finish. Due to the length of the route and the diversity of the climbing, it is unsurprisingly pretty tricky. There's fingers, thin hands, hands, fists, and finally, worst of all, at least in my opinion, off widths. <laughs> Certain sections are relatively forgiving in terms of beta, allowing a bit of improvisation, whilst others require dialed in sequences. And understandably, the fact that you need a head torch to climb half of it makes it even stranger still. We got in touch with Mari and asked her what she had to say about the route. After some big wall and aiding escapades in Yosemite, I had low ambitions for hard free climbing in the desert. But when the chance presented itself to go to Canyonlands, I took it. The route is mostly very long and close to the ground, with a bit of the route where you have to place gear at the end, which makes it a lot easier logistically than the other roof cracks in Canyonlands. After dabbling around on it and warming up, I quickly felt very positive about it and decided just to give it a go, but fell into the trap of not having a good sequence on the cruxes and powered out. For two or three short sections, I needed to find a good sequence but the rest is good hand and fist jams, so I was able to just make it up as I went along. The next session I came back and found a crucial constriction in the finger jam section that made the last tricky section a lot more casual. Then the session after I did it. In total, it took me five sessions. The send felt pretty solid the whole way, but it was not fully without some exciting moments. My taped crack gloves sweated off, so I had to bite off as much as I could in the middle of the route. Also, I hadn't tried the Angry Pirate finish since I did it a while back, so I wasn't sure how I'd feel after so many meters of climbing without a taped hand. To my pleasant surprise, it felt so much better than it did the last time I'd done it. My chicken wings were in so deep that I didn't feel like I could fall out at any point. That's the beauty of off -wits. you're stuck in them. You got this, Mari. As for the grade, I wish I could blissfully ignore it, but as Black Mamba hasn't seen many ascents, it's useful to contribute to the consensus over time. Tom and Pete suggested 514B, which I shockingly found out translates to French 8C. That would be the hardest grade I've ever climbed, which it didn't feel like to me. Yeah, get that breathing nice and easy. You got it, Mari. You're fucking crushing this. Okay, girl, you're on. That looks good. Thank you. Can you put my head on this next bit? Yes, I will. So Comparing it to other roof cracks in the area here, like the crack house, it would make sense to give it French 8B+, which would still be the hardest grade I've ever climbed, so I find it confusing. I think that roof cracks are such an isolated and niche skill 
that they are a challenge to grade. I've realized that this is something I'm probably quite good at, so comparing it to sporty trad climbs at home isn't fair. Come on, come on. Fuck yeah, Mari. Murray is without doubt one of the best female crack climbers in the world, with a sense such as this, her flash of belly full of bad berries last year, and other incredible looking routes on Norway's profile wall. For those who haven't seen the video she made climbing Brimham Rocks' Dirty Dozen, it is an absolute must. Not least because of the fact she is obviously having the time of her life doing it. It is a genuinely laugh out loud video. Elsewhere in the wide boys ecosystem, Pete Whittaker has just released his video footage of his first ascent of Crown Royale, his 9A trad route on the profile wall in Norway. Pete is undoubtedly an exceptional talent, so much so that you don't always see him have to dig to the very depths of the bottom of his soul. And on this, you do. Go check it out here. Next up, for those of you who are watching in the UK, we have a variety of differing competitions up and running on site. And if you want to win some free stuff, there's some cool stuff to give away at the moment. The Mountain Equipment Earthrise Down Jacket is one such competition up and running at the moment. And this recycled down jacket is a great all arounder. We also have a pair of Saliva Ortley's Light Mid PTX boots. So if you're into mountaineering, check that out. And finally, we have the Unparalleled Souped Up, which is without doubt the weirdest name for a climbing shoe I have ever heard, but I actually quite like it. Head to UK Climbing via the link in the corner of the screen to find out more. Whilst there is a possibility we will produce our final tick list of the year next week, there's an equal chance that I'll be in some sort of mulled wine and mince pie haze. And if that is the case, Merry Christmas.